Good morning, folks. We've got outstanding articles for you today. Climate and catastrophism. The third episode of The Big Burb went up last night, and we'll break it all down starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on the sun was not quiet, but also not tremendously eruptive. Small CMEs and surface surges as the dark coronal holes turn through, and we continue to only have smaller solar flares. In the solar wind, just this morning we took a little love tap of a CME, a faint edge of a cloud erupted days earlier, and while we can notice the sharpness of the telemetry change during the impact, that impact power was weaker than most coronal hole streams, and geomagnetism is still calm. We continue monitoring the sunspots, which are set up so peacefully spread in their magnetism, they're basically gentle giants traversing the sun right now. We will keep watching them to make sure. And we're off to another from the sun, but this time to a desperately underserved region for the subfield of science. They found solar control of nearly all meteorological parameters, with a 90% control over the precipitation patterns. Up next, it's a response to the response paper to the great Cooper et al. work earlier this year. They have had two detractors, and this is their response to the second. It's a demonstration of the detractor's failure to see the bigger picture while pieces are missing, but most importantly, the importance of Earth's magnetic field changes to the climate, evolution, and disaster cycle of Earth. Most of you have now seen the new disaster documentary, a place where the recognition of the importance of Earth's field is not missed. Over 100,000 of you watched the documentary over the Christmas weekend, and here on Monday, we get the first edition that will kick off the next year's playlist. Folks, this team is mostly from NASA, but Harvard, DUT, Caltech, and Southwest Research Institute are on board as well. When three of the observers in this author list emailed me after the documentary on Saturday, it was them wanting to see this in front of your eyes. FYI, two of those folks on your side are from NASA. Now please immediately pull the planetary changes from your memory banks because they confirmed our suspicions about Jupiter. Now, we don't have to look at its electron radio signal and guess its changing resulted from a magnetic field change. Juno's five short years of Jupiter are now enough to say its secular variation is underway as well. Jupiter's field is shifting, officially, and fast enough to be spotted in only a five-year satellite mission. Folks, even when gold appears in journals I don't usually check, our friends in high places are letting us know where the breadcrumbs are and I'll take a moment to thank them greatly for their anonymous battle. Lastly, folks, go check out the Big Burb Channel's Episode 3. We're grinding ahead on the build, discussing fun things we're going to do with it, and we had some fun between ourselves as well. All links are below the video, and when you're sharing that documentary, make sure you add in that Jupiter bombshell as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear, be safe everyone.